Hello there, and welcome to episode 93 of my quest to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, I aim to play maps of each and every single one of Norway's 356 communes to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. Today we have made it to the commune of Nordorden. Nordorden is an old industrial town uh, based on hydroelectricity back in the day which sits in the southern part of the commune, which is located a couple of hours southwest of Oslo. Most of the commune is quite rural, and, except, of course, for the, the town of Nordodden. And, uh, well, we got some stave churches and stuff here, so it could be an interesting playthrough if we are anywhere near anything spectacular. Um, I don't think I've ever been in this area. Uh, I've taken, well, of course, I've gone by train, like so, but that doesn't really count. So this will be a fairly fresh experience for me. So I'm uh, quite uh, quite curious about how this will look. But first, as usual, let's have a little look about some facts about the commune. Let's have a look at Nordorden. Immediately we're on a crossroads, or rather an access road. Good. And we're next to a railway. And the reason why I say a railway is that there are two railway lines in this area. So you have the main railroad that goes uh, comes across from from Kongsberg here. This is the main line that runs between Oslo and the south coast. So this railroad runs, let's see, railroad runs down like so, and then comes down into the village here of Juxebø, and then goes on southwards towards Noragutu and onwards. Uh, but there's also the old railroad that runs north from the town of Nordodden, and then it goes all the way up to the end of this lake. And uh, there used to be a railroad ferry going all the way up the lake up here to to Mal, And then to the town of Rukan up here. But, so, oops, oh, I'm not going to guess yet. So we need to figure out where we are. So I think the most likely best road way to go will be southwards. And of course we've got the crossroads coming up. To Orlifos and Lislehada. Okay, so that means that we are on the old one. So it says, says Lislehada. Can we see the church anywhere? Oh, where's that railroad? Railroad is here. The railroad is on the west side of the road. Let's see. Can we see a church there anywhere? I think we're probably up here somewhere. Mm. Yeah, this looks a little more likely. Let's see. Lislehadad. That's a nice name. And it also said to Orlifos. Mm. Now where is Orlifos? Here's Orlifos. So I guess that means... It's a little hard to say yet what that means. <laughs> so, and we were... So that's a road to Oidlifoss and also to the church in Lislehada. Now where's the church in Lislehada then? And we're heading south. Next to the railroad. The railroad is... Yeah, where is the railroad? So it's darn hard to see. Here it is. Okay. And it's... Hmm, so there is Orlev. 
beautiful. So I'm wondering if we could be... No, it doesn't seem likely either. Huh. There's a bit of a puzzle, this one. Well, okay, let's see what it says on the road signs here. So 15 kilometers to Odle Force. Okay, so that's a bit far. And what's the name of this road? It's called Olaf Moen's Road. I don't know who Olaf was. Okay, so it's 15 kilometers to Bulkeshire. Oh, but it's okay. So Bulkeshire is up here somewhere, I think. No, there's Bulkeshire. So, so, but 15... Might we have been here? Ah, yes, here's Olaf Moon's way. So I think we must have been up here. And... Let's see, how does the road go? Okay. Right, so... So which of these crossroads is it? It must be this one. Because we're on the bend. And then we have... Yeah, the same road going across here. Like so. And let's find out... Where we were then, let's see. So we're likely here. Yeah. This should be the spot, I think. Yeah, the road immediately curves like so. So we are a tiny little wee house there. Must be that one. And we are just south of that. So let's put the marker there. I think that should be pretty good. Well, good enough. And again, there's this thing about junctions in this game. Okay, interesting little, little bend in the middle of absolute nowhere. So we could, well, there are a number of roads we could be on. We could be on the E134, or we could be on the 37 in yeah, pretty much any location. We could also be in the 364. But I think the 37 and the E134 might be the most likely candidates. <coughs> okay, we've got a little stream next to the road. That might be handy to know by and by. And there's no particular reason to go north except that. Well, that's the direction I picked. <laughs> Let's see, this could... So it looks like we are at altitude. And here we got our... Oh, good. Now we're going to know which road we're on. We're on the 361. Okay, so the 361 is this one. Okay. Right. And uh, we are coming up to some sort of a community here. Clock. Got a guard wagon. Okay, so the the um, hmm, church servants <laughs> farm road, or something like that. Okay, let's see if we can just figure that then. Let's see. No, probably not here. Hmm, well, this road is short enough to have a wee look like this. No, not there. Ah, here we are. Okay. So we, we are probably on that pen then, I would say. Because if, we, if I continue here now, I should be getting to that access road. Let's see. Yeah, we'll have to come to the more or less to the end of the bend. Here we are. And that's that road. Okay, so we are on this tiny little straight bit of road between these two bends. Okay, so how far from each bend? One, two, three. Okay, two. That way. And the other way. One, Two. Okay, so we are pretty much in the middle between these two bends. So I'm going to place myself there. Can't be all that bad, can it? Well, 
10 meters away. Acceptable, I guess. And this looks <laughs> awfully similar, except that the road is different because now we got the dashed lines along the side. And this looks very miss missable. Slight bend here. And it's a very slight bend going around this. Oh, I want to. I don't want to even call it a corner. It's just a directional bump in the road. Whoa. Okay. Now this could well be the. Uh, this could well be the uh, 364. But I have. Well, I have no particular reason to say so. It's just. An initial thought. Okay, so we're coming up into an area with cabins. So that also suggests that we are at altitude. And here comes a rather. So we are on the eastern side of some sort of valley. We're coming up to a hmm, okay. So, this is an area where they would do uh, where they would float timbers down the rivers, and uh, so this is some place where you can see some stuff that relates to that activity. It has long since gone into, well not into history, but into the annals of relatively recent history. So no one floats timber on the lakes and rivers of Norway anymore, except for, well, to do so as a tourist attraction, two kilometers. Uh, but I have absolutely no idea where it might be. It could be. It could also be anywhere on this particular waterway, uh, which doesn't seem unlikely. So, but we're not on the 37. That's for sure. So, and uh, well, I don't know. Could we be up here? I don't see any waterways connecting these lakes. That would suggest that they are or would have been used for floating of timbers. See, this is, uh, this will require some work if we don't get any inkling about where we are for a while, but we're still going more or less straight north. And now we are, now we have left Nordoden. And what have we left Nordoden for? We have left it for Tin, which is the next commune. So that means that we're either on the 37 or the 364. Hmm. The trouble is I don't know where the borders are, but it could be could be around here. So let's see if I go the opposite way then. Hmm. Now, if I have to assume that the border between Tin and Nordoden follows this line, which I guess is some kind of forest preserve or something, we might find ourselves down there or down by that lake before long. But uh, on the other hand, if I'm on the 364, then we should find ourselves down here before long. So let's see about that. There's an access road of sorts following the road. Could be this thing, maybe. Possibly. And, um, yeah. It looks like. Oh, yeah, here we're coming up on the lake. So I am starting to think that we were somewhere up here. I just want to confirm this though. So when we cross across, yeah, we're going to find an access road. And we should also find a bridge over uh, 
over part of this lake. So here's an access road, could it be this? Mm, doubtful. Yeah, because we are going to turn first this way. And then we're going to turn the other way. And now we're going across. Yes. Okay, so now, right now, I'm here. So that means that we were somewhere up here. Probably, probably here-ish. Let's see. So just before the road starts proper turning, <coughs> excuse me. We have already done a slight turn. Now this is going to be one of those where I have just had to wing it because I don't think I will be capable of finding. Well, I guess I could look for that and possibly for that stream there. Well, that's going to be an awful long count. And I don't think it's going to be very precise either. Um, so we have started a slight bend. And the question is, are we there? Are we that far into the bend? Because the bend starts about here. Although, let's see, are we really curving? Yes, we are. And it's ever so slight. The question is, does the bend start here, like here-ish? Or does it start there and there? Oh, I wish I was able to see this little lake on the side, but I can't really. And then also, this waterway on the side doesn't show either, so I can look across the lake here. And that sort of suggests that I'm quite far off, because now I'm looking directly west to this lake, and there's quite a lot of lake going on. So... <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah, you can see you can see this lake here that goes on all the way up here. And if I'm looking directly west, and this now, keep in mind that now that I'm sort of about here, there's quite a lot of lake. To, no, there's still quite a lot of lake to go by. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. Let's see. I think that is fairly good. <laughs> right, and this should be this should be on the road along the lake here. And this is a very sparsely populated area, so this is <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, this might be a little challenging. Looks like there's a stream of sorts coming down here. There is. That could actually be what saves me on this particular one. Now let's see, there's no sign of any communities on the other side of the lake either. So this is the Lake Tin, or Tinsha. And here we're coming up to the Yunyilu Yun Tunnel. Okay. Yes, okay, well, that should be possible to pinpoint. It's not the Yunilu, and it's we go, well. It's not close enough to the lakeside anyway. And that one doesn't have a name. Could be that one though. Kind of looks to have the right sort of length. And we'll get back to that in a bit. Uh, we're definitely on the 37. There's no question about it. And uh, is this the only tunnel? Okay, the one we, now I think we are crossing into the next commune. Into Tin again. Well, actually, we might still... We might still be in Noton. Let's see... This is definitely not the tunnel. Oh, it is! The Yun Yilyu. 
that's a really weird name but uh, we are in telemark and telemark is a home of some absolutely ancient dialects okay let's see if we can see is there any sign of this stream no well that's unfortunate i guess we're somewhere here uh, but i don't like guesses no, i want certainty but it does, surely does seem like we are here I'll plonk it down there for now. Let's see. So if I go around the bend here, I should have fairly straight with the road leading onto the tunnel. Yes, we do. So we are we are in this in this little bay of sorts. So okay, I guess we have to count. Okay, one. Actually, I'll count the other way this time around. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six that way, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I do is I am counting to where then I cannot see a proper bend anymore. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 yeah so 14 and 6 from there to there okay so let's put that down there like so um, so 14 and 6 is 20 the middle of which is 10 which is oh, roughly there so if that is 10 i'm wondering if we might be there then this is five and uh then six will be about here uh, remember that we're not standing right on top of that stream i'm gonna call it there could well be a miss. Nine meters away. Cool. And the final round. Puts, it's interesting that we never touched on the on the town of uh, on Northolden, but at least here is one of those things that was part of founding Northolden. There's a hydroelectric plant across a river. Now the question is which river? So we are crossing the river to the towards the northeast. And the transformation facility, the Orly Foss power plant. Okay, so the Orly Foss is the Orly waterfall. Here we are, Orly Foss. Here we are, and that's the power plant. And we were, as it were, right there. I would say. Chigas probably wants to tell me that I'm standing in the middle of this on this crossroads though. And so to hedge my bets I'll put myself there. Oh, cool. And that is Nordon in the bog in the bag. <laughs> it's a shame we never got to visit Nordon or Heddal, where this uh, largest stave church of Norway is situated. But hey, we finished Nordhorden in one playthrough, and I'm quite happy with that. So, that's 93 done. Check in tomorrow and uh, for episode 94. Until then, bye-bye.